Here are some photos of the California Central Valley. We are in the middle of a housing crisis. Right under our noses, there's homeless. They're along the river beds and in the river banks. Underneath the bridges, they've built shelters. Along the freeways, they have homeless camps and our streets are full of tents. We're in the middle of crisis and we need help. It's putting a big stress on our community. Families are hurting. We've got to find a solution and we got to help with the homeless problem. Meet Rod Jarrett with his wife, Cheryl. Rod's been a bankruptcy attorney for years and he's been helping others for a long time. Cheryl, she's an accountant, but Rod, Rod's the idea guy. Rod sees that housing problem and he knows that we need to get a solution. So Rod did some research. He did some studying and then he took what he had and he invested in a 3D printer. We could get a better quality house, a lot faster built for a lot less money. You see, Rod is the man with the plan. And Rod's the one who got this whole thing started and the whole ball rolling. Well, one of the first things Rod realized is he needed to get a hold of one of the best contractors around. Meet Brad Gilton. Brad owns Gilton Construction. He's been in the business for years. He's got an architecture degree from Cal Poly and he's built thousands of places throughout the valley. He's done subdivisions, single family units, condos, apartment complexes, metal buildings, commercial units. He's even done three casinos. So bottom line, Brad is exactly the kind of expert that we need for this job. Now here's where I come into the picture. My name's Jason Gobelli. I'm a real estate broker here in the area. Been in the area for years. I own solid real estate solutions. Besides having a successful brokerage, I also had a little real estate investment company that I ran with my wife and I used to work for the International Association of Investors giving real estate seminars across the United States. I was introduced to Rod Jarrett to see if I could get a little bit of funds raised up so that we could make these dreams of his a reality. So I brought in some guys with some deep pockets and quite a bit of money. I thought I'd show them the vision that Rod and Brad had and see if we could make something work where we could have win-win situations and we all could do well. The issue was is this is the first time that this has ever been done. And when these investors looked at their profit versus their risk, well, they just got stingy and held on to their money and didn't want to do anything. What a bummer. No investor money. I really wanted to work with these two guys and I could see Rod and Brad's vision and I had to figure out a way to make this work. I had to come up with a plan. We had to get a solution in order to make these dreams possible. All of a sudden, bam, ideas started coming. Almost like it was divine. Things started clicking. I was thinking of Brad's plans. I was thinking of Rod's plans. I had some ideas of my own and I thought, why don't I be the investor? Why don't we start something? Why don't I team with these guys? And let's get this ball rolling and let's make this thing a reality. Let's make these dreams happen. First things first, let's create a company. Let's get a brand. Now that we got a company, now that we got the image, let's buy some land. That's right, let's find a piece of property that we can use and build on. Let's make plans to build. Let's start with a fourplex. Let's get four units and start with a plan that we know is going to make sense and that we know can help. Next, let's let the world know what we're going to do. We need to spread the word. We need to get imaging. We need to let everybody know what's going on. We need to let others know about 3D real estate technology and the benefits that we have that we can offer the whole community. So here's our plan. Phase one, low income section one housing. That's right. We're going to take these four plexes and start building one right after another. We're going to build, we're going to sell them as section eight or low income housing. And we're going to use the money that we raise from the sales in order to raise funds. That way we can do more projects and help the community even more. Part of phase one is that we're going to sell below market value. 
Now this accomplishes two things. One is for the family that needs low income housing, we have more affordable housing for that homeowner. And two, for the person who's struggling to make ends meet, we can have lower rents. This helps everyone. We are creating a winning situation for the winner and the homeowner. So let's look at the numbers. A fourplex, brand new, three bedroom, two baths with solar, typically renting anywhere between 1200 to 1400 a month. Our projected rents, $1,000 a month. $1,000 at four units, that's 4,000 a month. Over 12 months, that's $48,000 a year. So $48,000 a year income and rents below market value, this is a winning situation for everyone. What could be better? How about this? How about a low sales price to the investor? That's right, only $469,000. $469,000 is great returns while helping others. A $469,000 sales price off of $48,000 worth of income? That's unbelievable. What a great cap rate. How can you go wrong buying property from us? That's just phase one. Let's move to phase two. Reinvest, acquire more land to build and hold. That's right, we'll take our profits, we'll reinvest, we'll buy more land. This time we're gonna buy it, we're gonna hold it, and we're gonna rent it. This is our long-term plan, or our formula for solving the housing crisis. We're gonna get money from banks or wherever we can. When we borrow the money, we're going to buy property and we're going to rent it out. We're going to rent the units at $300 over the cost of our debt service. That's going to make the rents up to 50% off, up to half price. That's right. Tenants will end up paying half what they would normally for renting the same apartments in the same city in the same area. Phase two in a nutshell, we're going to buy real cheap and rent real cheap and do it over and over and over again until we can make a huge impact on our community and help with the housing crisis. Build more, repeat and repeat. Phase three, we'll partner with you. We'll partner with others. We'll do whatever we need to do to further lower the housing costs. We want to solve the housing crisis and we know we can do so much more with your help. Together, we can get a lot more accomplished. Phase four, We'll custom build for you. We'll build a home, units, little houses, whatever you want. We'll build for you. We only ask that you don't get greedy and you pass on the savings to others. It's okay if you make a little bit of money, but we don't want to take advantage of people. Remember, our bottom line is to help others and to help stop the housing crisis. Phase five, we'll just sell you a printer. That's right, you can do what we do. We'll sell you our 3D, concrete printer it's made by betabram you're going to get a higher quality product you'll be able to print in a couple of days saving tons of money so you'll be able to save money and do it on your own why not let you do what we do our bottom line is is we want to solve this housing crisis we're now at phase six get more help that's right talk to your city officials your county officials your government officials we'd like to be able to get some government funding We'd like to have you go to your communities, talk to nonprofit organizations or churches, see if we can get funding from them. Grants, private funding, it doesn't matter. We get it wherever we can. We'd like to get help. See, the idea is if we can get help, then that way we can sell houses or have lower rents and help the community. The whole idea is to get the prices down, to get the rental prices down, to get the housing prices down and make housing more affordable so that we can help with the housing crisis that's going on in today's society. Not just here in our local communities, but throughout our state, throughout our country, and possibly even the world. That's right, we want to help solve the homeless problems. We want to build apartment complexes and be able to rent them way below market value. We'd also like to be able to build single family residences, be able to sell those way below market value so that people become homeowners. We also see tiny houses, transitional living villages, 
places where not only do we help the homeless get into housing, but we also help the homeless with other issues, mental issues, drug issues, whatever it is. We want to work with communities, churches. We want to work together with whatever sources we can in order to help solve the problems that are affecting our cities, our counties, our states, our communities. We want to make a difference and we want to make a solution. That's right. That's our vision. Our vision is to help others and help with the economy and help solve the housing problem that we have going on today. One place at a time, one billion at a time. We're going to start locally. We're going to start in our own backyard, but together we're going to make a difference. Together, we're going to solve the housing problem. Together, we are going to be the solution. That's right. We are going to print houses and we are going to change the world. Thank you.